Hello friends, Namaskar. As you all may be aware that nowadays income tax related assessments are being conducted in a faceless manner. This is an interesting process from the point of view of assessee to understand that okay, how this faceless process would go, what are the impacts of the same and one of the recent intimation which I have seen being sent by income tax department to the assessees where an assessment is open is the intimation issued under section 144b of income tax act 1961. Now what is the impact of such kind of intimation? What are the various points which are related to or pertaining to this particular section are important to the assessees at large. So through this video or through this short video, I am trying to put up my views on this kind of intimation for the benefit of assessees at large. So let me start my discussion that how this intimation appears that there is a kind of mail which you may have received along with this mail there is a pdf file which is attached once you open that pdf file you will find that it is appearing like this that at the top of it it is written government of india ministry of finance income tax department and in brief i can say this is being issued by national faceless assessment center here you will find your name your address would be there your pan would be there for which assessment year this intimation being issued through which reference number, letter number, this intimation being issued. What is the date of this intimation? Then you see the subject line. Intimation to assessee for completion of assessment in accordance with the procedure of section 144B of Income Tax Act. So what is important for an assessee to note that it is not a notice, it is an intimation. What the intimation is? Intimation is from the income tax department to the assessee to tell him that look as per the new procedure we are going to take up your assessment in a faceless manner as per the requirement as per the procedure of section 144b of income tax act 1961 so assessee has to make up his mind that now his assessment will be conducted further in a faceless manner so it might be that your assessment might be opened in a faceful manner or in a physical notice being issued to you but later all such assessment later or sooner would get converted into 144b and once you receive this intimation it is a clear mandate that now your assessment would be further done in a faceless manner you need not to go to the income tax department to file your responses or to file your replies now suppose if i discuss further the content of this intimation what is written here under is dear taxpayer this is to intimate that your case for the assessment year 1819 has been selected for the purpose of faceless assessment, reassessment. Reassessment means where an assessment is already completed against you and now a reassessment being taken up. The case has been assigned to the assessment unit for the completion of assessment in the faceless manner in accordance with the procedure laid down in section 144b of Income Tax Act 1961. So what I pointed out at the beginning, same thing comes out that the department or the national faceless assessment center is intimating to you that look your assessment for such and such year is selected for faceless assessment or your reassessment is selected for faceless manner and the manner of this particular assessment would be as per the provisions of section 144b of income tax law further they are informing that the proceeding will be conducted electronically so no manual intervention only electronic proceeding will be conducted in e-proceeding facility through your account in e-filing website at such and such id the point which you have to note here is sir that you may look into your login once you log in you may go into e-proceeding option and in e-proceeding you may find that whether any assessment is presently pending against me or not and if there is a 144b intimation which is already issued to you this is a clear cut markation that the department is taking up an assessment which will be done in a faceless manner against you. Now here one very important suggestion which I would like to add from my side is based on the past professional experience many an assessee are found that they are not updating their current mobile number or current mail id in their income tax portal which you should ensure that your current mobile which you are presently using that mobile number and the current email id because sometimes people do change the jobs and in that case their mail id may get changed their mobile number may get changed so you should have an updated mail id and updated contact number in your profile 
once you have that you may be sure that wherever an intimation will be issued by the income tax department of a such a nature you would be properly informed further you are advised to periodically check now this is department saying or national faceless assessment saying you are advised to periodically check your account in e filing website and give a specific reply to the communication or notices issued within the specified time because this is our responsibility once department asks we are supposed to intimate them in the prescribed time limit this will enable passing of fair assessment order after due consideration of your reply or explanation non responsiveness may lead to passing of the best judgment assessment order and other penal consequences so a very clear important message from the department that please be careful wherever they are issuing any communication or notice to you you should reply to such communication or notice within the specified time so that a fair assessment order could be passed and if you will not respond if you will not provide information they will complete assessment in the manner of section 144 and further it is also said in this intimation brief note on e proceeding faceless assessment are available on the e filing website you may also refer to section 144b of income tax act for further reference now what is importance of this is that okay if you want to know a brief note on this particular process you may go through either the link which is given or you may go through section 144b of income tax act even now a very important point which i would like here to be summarized for the benefit of all sir this intimation is nothing but a kind of information from income tax department that look your assessment is open up now somebody may ask me if i receive this intimation how i have to respond my clear opinion on that is you need not to respond about that you have to just be updated that now onwards the assessment will be taken up in a faceless manner on e proceeding related tab option which you can always go and check so this intimation need not be replied this intimation must be kept in mind that okay now my assessment will be done in a faceless manner finally on the bottom part of this intimation it is also written that this is an electronic communication from national faceless assessment center which need not be digitally signed for authentication simply speaking sometime people find that if an intimation is not signed what is its worth so they have specifically written that this need not be signed for authentication because it is electronic communication sometime you may be dubious whether this intimation which is issued to me is valid or not so you may go to the e proceeding and find that this intimation is duly appearing there so that there is no fake intimation issued to the assessee the website address of e filing portal has been changed from income tax india e filing.gov.in to income tax.gov.in at the end my dear friends i would simply like to say that the intimation of section 144b is important to the assessee to know that now onwards his or her assessment will be done in the manner of section 144b and i would always advise that why not one should read the procedure of 144b or understand it with the help of a professional that okay how this assessment will be finally continued so that he can actually participate in the assessment and get ready to participate with a full support to the department so i hope you you will find this particular video useful to you thank you very much for being with me wishing you all the best jai